So I want to share um, my use of um, the social media site Facebook in uh, an education subject. The reason I decided to explore using Facebook in the subject was to meet a, a number of challenges that we were facing in the School of Education. We offer a degree that is both face-to-face -face and online and I was wanting to meet the challenge of um, interacting with students that we only see um, in an online space and with our face-to-face -face students who are increasingly becoming very time poor. Uh, when I had a look at the literature about using social media, um, Facebook itself seemed to have a lot of potential. Uh, research um, studies have shown that um, the vast majority of higher education students are active users of Facebook and are online on their Facebook pages from between half an hour and four hours a day. So it seemed to be that this was a kind of existing social practice that our students already had. It might be useful to try and tap into that, certainly in terms of connecting with them and uh, also potentially for their learning. This was a turnaround for me. I was somebody who was very um, fearful of the use of social media, particularly a public space of social media uh, in a, um, for pre-service teachers, given the very real legal consequences that could occur from misuse of sites like that. Nevertheless, I thought it was worth a try and I'm very glad that I did change my practice in that way because I've used it primarily for um, connecting, um, for learning and for building um, a professional identity with students. So the way that I used uh, Facebook was to create a public page for a subject. Um, students could uh, enlist on the page or um, have a look at the page, anybody can have a look at it. If they wanted to comment on the page, they had to like it. So it was a public page, a group page, they had to like it, they didn't have to become my friend or anybody else's friend to be able to interact with the page. I found that um, the students were very uh, familiar with that environment, the Facebook environment. What that meant was we were able to share some um, personal information that we wanted to share on the page. We could connect with each other. We could set the tone as lecturers and tutors or student mentors about the kinds of interactions we wanted on the site and we launched off into it. I found it very powerful for connecting with students and being able for them to be able to see their lecturers and other students A in the same boat as them but also as uh, less scary and uh, the informal space of Facebook was very helpful in that regard. For teaching purposes, um, time on campus or time engaged even socially uh, with other learners is, has been shown to be a protective factor against attrition uh, for students. So it became a really good space for students just to be interacting with each other. I found that students shared information, topical information around the subject. I put in particular links and events to important things that they had to be aware of, like census dates, but also particular events to do with their professional practice, and that was very quickly communicated. Typically, I'd have over 120 views within five minutes of posting something up on Facebook. It was used as a complementary tool to learn JCU. Our students found it very useful for their learning and in getting information because Many of them had it free on their mobile phone plans and it made the information that was also available on Learn JCU accessible on a free plan on their phone. It's also um, enabled them to, as I say, share resources with each other while they were on a practicum. They were able to send each other resources that had worked for them and links and be very collegial. It was a great equaliser because for our online students and our face-to-face -face students, they were working in that same kind of social space as well as in the learn JCU space. So connecting with them was really important, made us a lot more human and they could um, see other people in the same boat as them no matter where they were and we have students all over Australia and even internationally. Um, it was very good for me to be able to uh, push various pieces of learning as well. I also wanted them to engage in um, authentic kind of debate and thought about what they were learning, the conceptual stuff within the subject. So I could put links up to live debates about teaching and learning and about teachers in general. And one great success was our students um, interacting on Facebook Live during a Q&A, an ABC Q&A program between 
um, ministers of education about teacher quality. So they found that very relevant and really engaged them within the subject. The other area that I wanted to really focus on was building of a professional identity that students often don't realise that even as pre-service teachers they have to adopt a different identity even in a, a very public space. So this became a, a space where they could try out their professional identity and realise what it meant if you were um, perhaps thinking about things inappropriately or making inappropriate comments. We got them to think about that before they engaged with the site. So I, I feel as if it was a really useful tool to do those three things, connection, learning and building a professional identity. Um, I have no uh, complaints about using um, social media. If I'd looked at anybody's policies about using social media, I would have been very afraid about doing that. I was very afraid about how this might pan out for students, but it was uh, student feedback was universally positive. Uh, from a workload point of view, we have many students where their time poor will only be engaging with this particular learning maybe for an hour or two a day. If it's over a weekend, then they might have been waiting until Monday to be able to get a, a response. I found that it was no great drama for me to be able to answer a question on Facebook um, that they might have asked or some clarification in real time and they found that, that swift feedback very um, helpful. So for me, it was about being able to have a high touch student experience um, without too much hassle for the lecturer. And certainly I had virtually no email correspondence from students by using the combination of LearnJCU and, and Facebook. So I would recommend it, um, but I would also recommend uh, really front-ending the use of Facebook page for a subject with um, some cautionary tales for students and reiterating those and modelling the kind of interaction right from the start. Um, but it's certainly been very successful for me.